I'm back guys and welcome to another episode of let's just try something out and see if it works I guess I've seen it done a few times maybe like one I think I've seen it once done so that's it I mean I've heard people talk about it taking an articulated icon white ninja which are on sale right now they're like 30 bucks and you get tons of stuff with it so my idea is to take this not my idea the idea is to take this and this so we're gonna try to do that today so yeah and also um, Gorilla Customs was the one who was telling me about like some s tips on what to do on this guy's legs because they're pretty good but he said there's like a little bit of an issue with the mold and stuff and like just for articulated reasons also so shout out to him but also I got a Saba sword for you now, dude, because he's looking for a Saba sword. So, so yeah, let's pop these things open. So all I need out of this is the head. I don't know, it might look cool later on if we do some stuff, some pictures, this guy. Oh, lightning effect. No, no thank you, Hasbro. Give me another hand, something. I already got two hands, so that's not bad. All right, so that one's done. Yeah, this comes with a lot of stuff. Check it out. So yeah, go check out Articulated Icon's site. They have um, tons of different figures. They look really good. I'm not sure what the prices were on all of them. They were right around 30. I know they were Super cheap, as opposed to what they normally run. Ooh, comes with a little roof piece. A little dial piece. You get little pegs on there, so you have dudes standing on there, all like, doing stuff. Almost like the Mezco type bags, which are kinda cool. They're fun, they're fun. It's nice to have them, keep them around to hold all of your accessories and crazy stuff. Looks like we get a lot of stuff. One of these. That's pretty dope. I'll be using that. These. All very nice. Tons of accessories. Swords. Need this strap. So wear across his body. I'm, I'm assuming. Two different size swords that go on the. that peg into the. Oh my gosh. Pegging the back. Comes with a bow. Comes with some arrows that also peg in the back. Oh my goodness. You got a red sash. You get this rock climbing tool. No, it's just another ninja tool. Ninja weapon. Ooh. You get a few different hands. You get the open hand. You get this hood. Some people might put it on backwards and put it like that, but make sure you do it right. If you're using hoods, I, I messed up when I was doing the uh, Ronin video. I don't get it. I don't get how this hood goes on. Well, you dummy, you did it wrong. You did it upside down. Weapon. Little Michelangelo tool. One of these hoods. Fold down hoods. Wolverine like. You know what? Just go on the website and see all the cool accessories. It comes with multiple heads, multiple hands, even some throwing stars or dropping stars. Cool little mask with a strap on the back. That's dope. So I'm gonna put that all right here. I should have actually turned this thing around and shown you guys that, but we're not doing that today. Because I want to show you guys, I'm gonna do some Dremel action, and some heat on this. Let's make this guy work. Now this isn't gonna be a full out thing. Like I'm not gonna get all the diamonds and stuff that they have on the white ninja ranger. So, you're gonna do it yourself. Or maybe someone else has a YouTube video. I don't know. I haven't looked. 
to see how you could do that. There might already be one out that does this. I should probably, you know, spend some time looking into stuff like that before I jump into doing this. Now let me see. So how does he line up with lightning collection size wise? Pretty spot on. Pretty spot on. First things first, let's pop this out. Oh, came off pretty nice. Just your normal peg on there. Fits on like a glove. Well, it moves a little bit, but it fits on there. Like he's not, it's not gonna fall out. Every time I say something like that, then that will fall out. So be careful with this. Warm them up a little bit. So this is, you know, a third party type of thing to get an icon. It's not like it's ma mass produced like legends and stuff. So I see what he's talking about though. With double joint, you're, you're double jointed. But see how there's a little bit of a kickback? So we can fix that. So real quick, let's fix that. And then yeah, maybe we can put this hood on his head. Cut a hole for his hair, type of thing. A little bit of a paint issue on here. Look at, look at the paint issue! Oh, if you can see it, if it comes up or not. Whatever, it's fine. For as much stuff as we got for 30 bucks, a little bit of paint issues on white. White is a hard color to do. So I do not mind, I feel like I owe them because we have so many freaking accessories. So yeah, real quick, we're going to heat this up and we're going to do a little bit of Dremel action and kind of put it together and then I'll flip this thing around and we'll take a closer look. A look-see! Alright, and they pop right off. Now, if you guys haven't used heat, I suggest doing boiling water. If you are novice to it. That way you don't ruin your fear because you can definitely overheat the stuff. If you don't know what you're doing, and I literally don't know what I'm doing. I just have done it a lot, so I guess I have experience at wrecking toys. I'm gonna dremel a little tiny bit in here. And make sure that you're using eye protection. I know I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm gonna say this. When you're dremeling anything, because I've had hot pieces of plastic jump into my eyes and whoo, stuff sucks. So you want to use this kind of head, this piece right here. And I just have a cheap Walmart Dremel, because I've blown up so many. No, I say so many, I've blown up like three. I've gone hard on some stuff, like wah! Inside. Let's bring that down to not crazy speed. If you have zero experience in any of this and you don't feel like doing it, then you don't have to do this part. And this this isn't my normal workstation, it's usually over over there. I'm using stuff I normally wouldn't use as far as this. You want to get all your excess stuff out. You could probably get away with just sanding it if you wanted to. Last time I did one of these, I was dremeling something. Something shot up in my beard and it was there for the whole video. So that, that works. So now there isn't that kickback that you get. I might have went, I might have went a little too hard on it. There we go. Yeah, that actually works. Woo! -hoo -hoo, we didn't ruin a figure. Yeah. First time ever. Another leg. <clears throat> so you want to kind of start in here 
on the top and just work your way inside and then just pull it up. Always down for cleaning these out. But yeah, usually I'll use some sandpaper, you know, the actual tool that I have to get this out. Not just the freaking knife that I use to open up boxes. All right. There we go. And the leg works way better. Heck yeah. White Ninja Ranger Tommy. All right, so we can pop this little hood thing on. All right, let's flip this thing around. We'll see what else we can do with the other hood. So here's all the accessories, guys. Like, look at all of this stuff. That is worth $30. You got one, two, three, four sets of hands all together. You have multiple weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty thousand weapons. So definitely go check out Articulate Icons. Just Google it, Articulate Icons. I'll even put the link down in the description for y'all. All right, so here's where we're at right now. We can now pose him, because I want him to be able to pose as good as the Lightning Collection, right? Otherwise, what is the point? So now he can pose really well, as well as, I think, the Lightning Collection. I might went a little bit too hard on that right leg. Might have overdid on the right leg, guys. But yeah, with that little bit of drumble action, these things can pose just as good. Now, they don't have the ab crunch like the Lightning Collection has. The Lightning Collection has ab crunch and peg torso. As you guys know, it's my favorite freaking thing ever on an action figure. Everyone keeps asking about the uh, background and stuff. Like, these are just my space walls. I'll change them up. They have different features, different ones and stuff. They're not cheap, but you can find them on GTP, GPT, GTP. Just Google them also. I can get them on Amazon, but they're cheaper actually from the actual company that makes space walls. All right, so my idea is Put this on dude, make it work. But I think we're gonna cut some stuff. So I'm just gonna use an X-Acto knife. So would it be cooler if we just cut it right off the back or if we made a hole for his ponytail to stick out of? Yeah, you guys can see that little bit of paint that I was talking about earlier. See that paint's off a little bit. No biggie, I don't care, it's close enough. You could do it with just hood down. Just like how we have it. Or, we do it with the hood on. Now a lot of people are going to try to put the hood on like this. Because I've done it before. Actually this one might be the right way. I don't even know. Yeah, because... You know, even I'm getting confused, but I'm pretty sure wherever your ripples are, that's not gonna be the top of your hood. That's gonna be where it's kind of ruffled together and coming together at the neck. So yeah, we are gonna put it on like that. Watch me be wrong now after confusing all of you. Confusing you, confusing me. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is how we want it, but we're gonna make some alterations because that that just isn't gonna work unless we just cut that and we can just I don't know just have it laying on there we just cut this whole bottom out but I think it would look cooler if he had a little slice or his ponytail could stick out the back so I think I'm gonna do that I only have one hood but let's do it let's get crazy once again not measuring just being me There we go. I think it looks all right. That looks cool to me. Hopefully that's the right way. It's gotta be the right way, right? 
not I'm an idiot, but yeah, that look it makes more sense to me that the ruffles would be down here. It just looks better that way to me. So in my IMO, in my opinion. So here he is, and like I said, you guys can go through if you want to. You can use some any type of epoxy sculpt or procreate and you can make your own stuff for down here. Like actually make him look like how he looked in the white ranger suit white ninja suit or you could even have it that would work too or or let's see how the helmet looks on it yeah that doesn't really click on as well but that does look kind of cool you could take some pictures with that white ninja so pretty awesome pretty cool it's just an alternate thing that you could do, and I think it's fun. So yeah, let's see how these hands swap out. As I was saying though, all this stuff just clicks right into the back. There's a little hole for the peg. Boop. Just like so. And then you can even put this on. I'm assuming it goes over this. So yeah, now you literally, now literally, white ninja. Okay, so shout out to Mr. Gorilla Customs for uh, kind of telling me like, hey man, if you do get one of those articulate icons, you know what I did to make them stand better? I use a little bit of Dremel, a tiny bit of Dremel, and a little bit of heat to uh, make him a little bit better. So, here he is guys. And also Brock from Life with Brock. Check out his YouTube, his Instagram. I'm pretty sure he has a, yes, his Facebook also. Brach Rivas. Check him out. He's the one that actually put this thing up on Instagram. He's like, not this, but he put up, he's like, Articulate Icons are on sale. Go get them now. So I checked them out. So they should still be on sale, guys. I don't see why they wouldn't be. If they're not on sale, then I'm a liar. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is just really cool. And I think that it scales really good with Lightning Collection definitely definitely give it a try so thanks for watching our lightning collection video we now got tommy all tommied up with the white ninja look like i said you guys could go all out and customize the crap out of that if you wanted to some procreate some epoxy however you feel is the best way to make more cloth goods you could even use soft goods if you wanted to to make it look screen accurate but this is the tommy that i'm gonna go with good enough for me cheap easy not a big deal and if you already have this figure and i do i just use my tommy head on other stuff so you already have the extra head so you don't even have to buy another figure you can just use the head from tommy and put it on dude so thank you like i said thanks to brock rivers life with brock check him out on youtube he was the one that said the articulated icons were on sale so i went up and grabbed some and mr gorilla customs for you know being like hey man this is what you need to do if you want them to uh, articulate a little bit better so thank you for watching thanks for taking time out of your day because y'all don't have to be here and you are and you sat through this entire thing and remember be kind to one another thanks guys